Okay guys welcome back to my channel I hope you all are doing well today is the last video for the first month of this year I feel like January has been such a short but at the same time such a long month it felt never ending but it's already gone by it's very confusing to me but we're not going to ramble about that today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my empties for this month so I'm not going to make this intro any longer without any further ado if you want to know everything that I emptied out in this month and it's a good good empties video then please keep on watching let's start off by talking about some makeup removers I always place them to at the end but i thought this time let's start with them because i have a few makeup removers that i need to talk about starting with bobby brown soothing cleansing oil just how the name suggests it's a very soothing very calming oil it doesn't sting your eyes it breaks your makeup down it's such a beautiful oil and it took me a while in finishing it up it took me a really long while i feel like i had finished about 1/3 of it by using it here or there just randomly but for the last 6 months i've been at it it took me a long 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 while so if you have the budget and if you're looking for an oil that is slightly soothing on the skin won't sting your eyes and you want something that would last you for a really long time definitely check this one out it's a beautiful makeup remover then i have my garnier micellar water with me right here which i really enjoy i have finished multiple bottles of this i own multiple bottles of this but i feel like because of that reason i couldn't really track this properly now i like to track my skincare wherein i see what is expiring first so i rotate them through my skincare stash so i'm not letting something go to waste but this one sadly expired and i made a video recently where i talked about how you can use skincare which you don't like and I actually showed this one in that video and I used it up in that same way. So basically I used it up in cleaning my foundation brushes so I dipped my foundation brushes in this so it would break all of the makeup down and that's a great way of using a micellar water that you A don't like or B has expired and I actually used it up in that way so didn't this didn't really go on my face but it cleaned my brushes for me. And the last makeup remover I want to talk about is by Kiko Milano it's their pure clean micellar water and the way that I was using this one was to do my lip swatches so I was using this to remove my lip swatches and I've been using this for about 4 to 5 months and I do a lot of lip swatches with and without makeup so again this lasted for a really long time again it's so gentle on the skin it breaks your makeup down and that's why I could use it as a lip swatch remover because sometimes lipstick can be really stubborn to remove and this one was such a nice micellar water to break it down without removing my other parts of the foundation a lot of times when you're using oil it would literally seep into your skin and remove all of the makeup but with micellar waters you can really control them i really like this one i really hope it's still available i'm not too sure because i've had it since a while and it was nearing its expiry date so hopefully it's still in the market because i highly recommend this one i actually don't have any face wash empty with me this month because i am using my face shop mango seed face wash which is a creamy consistency so you need the tiniest amount and the tube is quite huge so we're going to move on to an exfoliator that i finished up which is by wishful it's their yo glow the original yo glow and i really enjoyed this you know a lot of times i miss physical exfoliant life because i really enjoy the process of doing that a lot of times when you're chemically exfoliating you don't feel like you exfoliated you know what i mean like i'm sure if you have physically exfoliated and if you've shifted to chemical exfoliation you would know that you miss that feeling sometimes so this is the perfect balance for that because it physically exfoliates like it gives you that feeling of physical exfoliation while it's chemically exfoliating your skin and being gentle on the skin scrubs like these which are like cellulose based scrubs they're very very gentle on the skin you feel like you're getting rid of dead skin but it's not dead skin it's just cellulose spilling up on the skin this also has aha's and bha's so on days when i really felt like i needed a physical exfoliant on days when i just needed a quick fix because with chemical exfoliants you need to do them a couple of days before the event so this is great for days when you need instant results something to make you look radiant and glowy just like that i really enjoyed this one but yes there are a lot of dupes available in the market that is something like this so if you don't have the budget or you don't want to spend that much on just a cellulose based scrub you definitely have options out there however i really enjoyed this one and then i finished my plum rice water plus mask and my 10% serum i have been talking about the serum high and low you guys on different youtube videos on my instagram every single where because i love this serum it's such a beautiful milky consistency serum it really repairs your skin barrier adds a little bit of glow to your skin it makes it smoother it's a beautiful serum i think this is my favorite serum that plum has done so far i did try out their vitamin c which i found very okay but this one has my heart moving right along i have face shops rice and ceramide moisturizing toner with me right here now this is not a water thin toner it's slightly thicker in its texture and that's what gives it the moisturization ability so if you have dry skin you're really going to enjoy it or if you live in winter situations you're going to really enjoy it 
or if you have both of them like me right here then this is god sent because this just adds a layer of moisturization it traps all of the moisturizer in so your creams and your oils can really work on your skin and your skin won't feel dry or flaky if you have oily skin and you don't like heavy moisturizers you're going to really enjoy this because this would make sure your skin is moisturized but it doesn't look greasy because that's a very big concern for people who have oily skin i really like this range by face shop i feel it's so soothing and calming on skin because ceramides are great to soothe your skin barrier overall really enjoyed this would definitely be picking this up again then i finished my etude house bubble tea sleeping mask basically this was a trendy product i bought from korea because back in the days instagram videos with like quirky products in the thumbnails was the only thing that used to work and i picked up a lot of stuff just to make videos i feel so stupid even saying that out loud but that's the truth but this was a good sleeping mask it was just like that gel texture that almost all sleeping masks have but it had like bubbles like gel bubbles in there just to represent bubble tea and those were really difficult to burst so that was something i did not enjoy because it used to like stay on the skin for a little while before like melting into the skin it was an okay product i would definitely not pick it up again i don't even think it's available in india but yeah overall a very okay sleeping mask i have tried other sleeping masks that i like a lot more than this one so this is going to be a pass for me it's cute but it's a pass and the last skincare product i emptied is by lausitan it's their immortal divine wheel or immortal divine oil i don't even know if i pronounced it correctly but basically it's a facial oil a very tiny facial oil but it actually lasts really long because you don't need a lot of it this actually lasted me for two months which is a great time for something so tiny to last but yeah i have used other face oils that cost much lesser than this and give a similar effect i didn't see any immortality happening to my skin and by that i mean my skin looking much more youthful but that can also be attributed to the fact my skin is still youthful even though i just turned 27 i feel like my skin is still in a good place i might start retinols this year because i think i should have started at 25 i've already delayed for two years but the two covid videos do not count anyway coming back to this oil it's an okay oil if you feel like spending a little extra to feel fancy with the immortal divine then you can definitely spend on it but yes there are oils out there that will cost you lesser and give you a similar effect that this oil gives next up i have my tiggy bedhead beehive dry shampoo and i think this has been discontinued i'm not too sure but this is a beautiful dry shampoo it really freshens up your hair like no one's business and it smells so good like it smells so good you don't even need a hair perfume after this so even if you are going a little greasy on the scalp and it can get smelly in there we can have smelly scalps this one is going to eradicate the oiliness eradicate the smelliness and give you like freshly washed hair effect such a beautiful dry shampoo so if you can find it near you still grab this one it's worth all of the money you spend on it i finished a hair gel you guys and that's why i was saying this empties video is very exciting because i have products that i generally don't finish so quickly and i have products that i'm showing you guys for the first time because i never end up emptying any of those out but yes i have a hair gel and i have my ends closet flax jello with me right here basically this is a flaxseed gel perfect for styling your hair i used to use it to like take my flyaways down or to use it whenever i was braiding my hair to keep it in place and keep it neat and tidy now this doesn't make your hair crunchy or anything of that sort it does have a little bit of white residue if you comb through it after letting it set so you make want to make sure that whenever you are applying this you're combing when it's still wet if it dries down and you comb it through it can have a little bit of white kickback that's the only downside about this gel otherwise i really enjoyed it i completely completely finished it up because it was such a good product really enjoyed this one the last hair empty i have is by herbal essence it's their rosemary and herbs conditioner i had finished the shampoo last month and i finished the conditioner this month because it's a miracle if you finish your shampoo and conditioner together and miracles don't happen often now just in the case of the shampoo this is not my most favorite range from herbal essence there are other ranges that i really like from them i feel like this didn't moisturize my hair enough even though this is supposed to be really nice and moisturizing conditioner i just felt my hair felt a little dry and i had to go in with a lot of serums and hair moisturizers and what not so if you have hair that's pretty oily you might enjoy this one for me this was a little too less moisturizing my only body empty i have this month is my shower gel and that's by the body shop it's their satsuma shower gel and this smells so fresh so good so incredible but just like all other body shop shower gels the fragrance of this one doesn't last that long it actually just fills the whole washroom for those 5 minutes of fame it's such a beautiful citrusy fragrance of course this is not the most perfect winter fragrance and currently i'm using the shea variant which is more winter appropriate because it's a cream based shower gel it's a shower cream of sorts but this just felt so good i felt transported to a beach whenever i was using this and it just 
Oh, I can sniff it through the bottle even right now. It's a beautiful variant. I did talk about this in my shower gels for summer video because I love this so much. But sadly, the fragrance doesn't last long. So if you are someone who loves long lasting shower gel fragrances, this is going to be a very big pass for you, just like all other body shop shower gels. We've got to talk about some makeup next up. And I have lots of makeup in this empties video. Again, very exciting. The first one being my Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser. I recently talked about this, how I only had a couple of uses left and I was finally able to finish it completely. So we have nothing left in this tube. This is completely gone. I really like this. This uh, pore eraser primer it's silicone based but it doesn't fill up on the skin i don't think this is available in india i picked it up when i was traveling and i just kept it for god knows how long it's finally done again if it is available near you and you are on a budget and you just need something that would smoothen out your skin it's a nice option to go for i finished one of my most favorite foundation you guys i think i wore this on my brother's wedding it was a madhouse when my brother was getting married so i don't even remember half of the products i used but this was in my makeup bag for sure i'm talking Talking about my wet and wild photo focus foundation yes you guys my wet and wild foundation it's such a beautiful foundation it might look like there's so much product in here but i've completely scraped everything off it actually has nothing left in there nothing really comes out it's completely gone this is something i would definitely be picking up once i go through a couple of more foundations from my collection because i love this foundation so much it's so affordable has such a beautiful finish on the skin it photographs well it looks good in person so it's like a double win because something might photograph well but might not look good in person and vice versa this does both so highly recommend this one i've talked about this so many times and the fact that i actually did wear it on a couple of my brother's wedding functions says a lot this has been in my collection since a while now but i'm so glad i got through this because i really want to get rid of a lot of my makeup but not in a way where i'm just throwing things away yes i am currently donating a lot of things as well but things that i like i want to actually use them up and feel good about myself and this definitely makes me feel really good then i have my MUA pro base compact with me right here now this was in my project pan last year and my goal was to empty it out but it didn't happen while the project was ongoing but during the first two weeks of january i was able to completely smash it so we have a waffle pan shining back at us right here now i really enjoyed this powder it's a very thin and finely milled powder because this is a translucent shade it doesn't add a lot of coverage but it looks very beautiful on the under eyes it doesn't look heavy it doesn't look dry which is something i appreciate as a dry skin person if you are from the oily skin type or if you want a lot of coverage from your powders this one might not be it for you because it is very thin it does absorb oil but it's not going to absorb crazy amount of oils and you might need to recharge a lot but overall i really enjoyed this compact however i won't be picking it up right now because i have so many powders to go through from my collection but again i have enlisted the criteria if you do check all of those checklists you can definitely check this powder out if you are on the lookout of a new powder then i finished two mascaras from my collection that i absolutely love and i would absolutely be picking up again the first one being by mac this is their bad and bold lash mascara and this is a dual wand mascara so you have a big wand once you pull up this compartment and then you can just pull up the upper compartment to have a really tiny wand so this is great for the lower lash line while the other one is great for the upper lashes but this was such a nice mascara it really separates lengthens and volumizes your lashes i really like this one but the other one at a fraction of a cost and probably my most favorite mascara of all time is by flower beauty this is their warrior princess lash mascara and i cannot for the love of god find this on my car so i'm hyperventilating a little please tell me this is not discontinued because this is such a beautiful mascara and i cannot wait to pick it up i have talked about this over and over again love 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 it i said i'm going to be talking about some empties that i've never really talked about and the last empty of this month is going to exactly justify that i am talking about my code brush cleaner basically this aluminium jar housed a solid soap bar in there that is supposed to clean your brushes sanitize them and get them ready for your next use now i have been using this and only this since a while i think i talked about this the first time in 2020 so it's been a while since i've been at it and i do have a lot of brushes that require frequent cleaning really enjoyed this soap i feel like if you are are cleaning your foundation and concealer brushes with this you do need to work slightly more but for powders this works like a charm so if you are looking for a brush cleaner that is long lasting and would clean your brushes quickly and easily this is a nice option to go for but yes with that i finished my empties my first empties for this year i hope you guys enjoyed this and found this video helpful if you did then don't forget to comment and subscribe it would mean the absolute world to me also let me know what you emptied out in the first month of this year i would love to know down below in the comment section i'll see you guys next time next month in the month of love now till then take care i love you all so much bye mm -hmm.